Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's actually um, Friday evening now. I'm only starting off this video now. But just an update on the triplet yo. Um, schooner came back with antibiotics and I gave her some uh, long acting alamycin. And she's actually up now. I'm not saying she's better, but she's up and that's a start. Now she's still not eating a whole lot. She's eating a bit of hay, no nuts. But uh, I decided to put the heat lamp there under the in for the lambs because I was feeding them on the bottle and I, I didn't put the gate there last night and I made a mistake. I should have put the gate there because it keeps the O away the O away from them. Now I come down this morning and she was lying on the, the best lad, but I'm not actually sure that she killed them. Lay on them. Um that's him there and uh, the best lad. Um, I have another lamb dying here with the watery mouth and um, I just think maybe because he didn't seem overly well last night when I was giving them the bottles um, and I think there's another lamb could have died with it as well I'm not sure where a lamb I was feeding and I'm just not 100% sure I thought he was lay on this morning as well but now that I know that this lad is dying with the watery mouth it just has made me think back and it's just going back to um, the scour halls I remember I seen on Facebook or somewhere where lads were saying about the scour halt that it was a waste of money we used the scour halt here every year and we never had watery mouth and now it's gone off the market and possibly I possibly could be have lost four lambs with the watery mouth already and we haven't even started so if that's the case if it continues Everything will have to be got out of this shed and the whole thing will have to be disinfected. But like we, we do disinfect anyway. So um just don't know what we're gonna do. Um I'll show you this lad now, but he definitely has it, he's a rattly belly. And um that that new product that I was telling you about um there in in about two videos ago. Um I forget the name of it now, but uh this is supposed this is supposed to prevent a um or the lamb response and like i've gi i've given every lamb uh, a shot of that as they've been born but where is where's this fella now oh he's he's he yeah he's just dead he's just dead but if i pick him up there um i'll just pick him up and you probably won't be able to hear it but if you can hear that rattling in his belly and and he has all that drool under his mouth now look at people people will say do this do that do the other we have feckin tried everything everything and we have never ever ever saved one ever so i'm just thinking now that a couple of them other lambs that i thought were lay on could be the watery mouth um and I actually, I've just copped the lad in there now that I'm after walking by. Oh, I see him up now. He was just lying a bit funny. So I'm just a bit uh, uh, cautious of it now. I'm, I'm checking every, double, double checking every lamb. Um, but like, uh, um, that lad wasn't doing well. And I actually had stomach tubed him twice today. And I even turned up the O and everything. And they had sucked the O. Now she mightn't have had, a, she mightn't have been bursting with milk. But um, they had sucked her, and I was just saying about this lad that they're not doing well. Why, are, why is this lamb not doing well? But when I picked him up today to give him either another bottle or stomach tube him again, because uh, he, he wouldn't drink the bottle, so I was stomach tubing him, um, I, I heard his belly, belly rattling, and that's what that is. And isn't it just typical? The Scour Halt was a feckin' great product and it's gone off the market. This is the second year that it can't be got. Always that something that's good, they take it away. Just to show you, anyway, we're in full flight now. Most of the pens, most of the pens are being occupied. Um, there's, there's lambs everywhere now. Um, I just got a couple of these pens emptied this morning uh, where I marked Joe's and lambs and they're over there. Um, I think someone said tomorrow's to be a wet day, so I just marked them and put them over there. Um, but if it's given a wet week for next next week, I will um, 
draw those lambs up to my yard and put them in a shed up there and keep them in just for a week or so to see will the weather get a bit better but I haven't seen the weather so I don't know what it's going to do but they're we're not clogged up yet but uh, they're over there and they're happy enough for the minute um, uh, we have a few we have a few like this is a very small little set we have a few sets like that that we're just nursing uh, not feeding them but just nursing them and we can't uh, we can't mark them or change them uh, or put them out or even put them in a big batch They're going to stay in the small pen for a while But uh, just to show you this as well here This is our very first Chevet Chevet We had a few Chevet lambs that, that Black Yo's uh, broke into the Chevet ram But this is our very first um, Oh she's a bit feckin' mad Come on get back, back. Uh, A serious a serious set of uh, Chevet lambs you, Maybe you can't see them that well there but um, that's our first first set of, of Chevet lambs so far. The rest have been all Suffolk or Suffolk crosses. So, um, yes, and uh, we had another yo sick in there as well, and, and that was um, definitely meningitis, I think. So I got antibiotics today, specific stuff for that. So I had injected her with alamycin yesterday as well, so we have her on this course of, I'm not sure what antibiotic it is, but we only, they wouldn't give you a bottle of course, they only give you injections now, so that's, and a vitamin there as well in that. So, um, we'll see how she progresses and I'll let you know, but it, it's meningitis, we think it's meningitis with her. So yeah, not a great start, we haven't got off to a great start, but anyway, look it, you just have to do your best. Well, it's it's um, about half four here Saturday morning. Uh, this this fella that had the watery mouth is actually still alive. But I had injected him with that alamycin, um, the long acting alamycin as well. But um, as the saying goes, Houston, we have a problem. I think uh, there's another triplet after dying, and there's another fella down over there as well. I'm going to show you. So. Uh, I'm gonna have to ring the vet today to see can she come out or someone one of the vets come out to assess everything to see what we need to do because th that watery mouth scour is in and um, we haven't even really got going lambing yet like we're going but not not full flight so we're gonna have to try and change something before this gets in and wipes us out um, like uh, that lad is actually looking better now. I thought he was going to be dead yesterday. Um, so what I might try and do is give him a stomach tube, him a small amount, or see will he drink the bottle. Um, as I said, now I gave him probably a little bit more of the alamycin than he needed. I gave him two cc's of the long-acting alamycin, and maybe that is going to turn him around. Maybe it is. Um, but last night I didn't have the camera and um, I just, I, I copped one of the triplets here um, and like I was feeding the triplets and the little lad, he was just, he was, um, didn't look well under the light and I just picked him up and yeah, he had the rattly belly he, and it, it was, it was too late for him. <coughs> but this third lad is, is doing fine. She's actually up now, chewing her cud, the yo. Um, and he was out sucking her there last night like she, she's made a miraculous recovery like she, recovery she was down and out i thought she was going to die but I, I need to inject her again today now but um she's chewing her cud there all the signs are shown that that she's going to make it now um but we've lost two of them and i thought she lay on that big lad but uh all signs are showing now that it's probably the watery mouth and I thought another fellow was lay on as well. It's actually would be the twin of this lad. The twin of this lad. This lad's down now this morning and I picked him up and, and you can hear the rattly belly. So I'm after giving him um, the alamycin as well and then that rapid response stuff as well. I'm after giving them another couple of shots of that down the neck as well. I know people suggest syringe and alamycin or antibiotics down the neck as well, but um, I might do that later on. But as I say, we've had it before in very small doses and we, we have tried everything. And 
uh, yeah, as Dad was saying um, yesterday, and I think I, I never remember either. I, we've never saved one, never. So, but I'm gonna have to ring the vet this morning, as I was saying, and and probably get the vet out here um, to see what we're going to do because, um, like that's now that that hasn't died yet. Let, let me see. There's one, two. There's there's three lambs there already that have definitely died. That. Um, I can only confirm one of them was watery belly though but like these two wouldn't hold out much hope for them either the lad over there and here so that'd be five I might actually grab this lad now and I might actually stick him under the heat lamp uh, we have a, a space in the corner there and I might stick him under the heat lamp and see will that help him um, but it's a disaster now uh, we're, 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 we're in trouble we're definitely in trouble just an update on some of the lambs. Uh, we've lost that lad. Uh, we're in, we're in big trouble, as I was saying. Like this is the next day on from uh, earlier in the video. Uh, there's a lot of lambs with us, so I'm stomach tubing every lamb that I think has it, and I've injected every lamb with alamycin. But I'm out of antibiotics now, so I got in contact with the vet last night and he has left out two bottles i spoke to him yesterday as well to see what to do so he's left out two bottles of betamox and he says inject every lamb as it's born and there's the scour stuff the pink scour stuff i can't think the name but um that you give the calves and he said if you give them a little bit of that uh, it sort of has the same antibiotic as the scour halt um don't know, it's very similar antibiotic to go down into the stomach. So he says, give them a bit of that. Although he didn't have any of that, he's going to get some in tomorrow. Um, but he gave me tablets tablets to give to anything um, that's bad. So uh, um, it's about half five in the morning now. I've been here for about an hour. Uh, I'm stomach tubing anything that I think has it because they're not sucking. And in fairness, like, I'm not saying they're great, but like this lad that I thought was going to die the other day, like he's still here, he's still here. Um, there's a few other lads. These two, these two now. I'm stomach tubing them as well. Um, I think those Chevitz lads have a two, and maybe one of them. And this lad here, I'm running after stomach tubing him there now as well. So we're just stomach tubing everything that we think have us has it, um, because because they're not sucking. So. Um, but as as I said, I went around last night and I injected every lamb that I had um, so go get these antibiotics now after I get my breakfast and uh, we're gonna actually clean out we're gonna move all these yo's today scrape out all every pen over there as well clean it all out and disinfect the whole we, we have it we usually do it with a nab sack we have disinfectant there we're gonna disinfect the whole feckin place again just here with a yo. Um, she's actually very, very lame, and um, she's lambing, but I just had a look at her, and I think it's either a rotten lamb or dead lambs. I'm not surprised because she was extremely lame. She was one of the worst ones I had. She can barely walk, and I didn't do anything with her because I was afraid she'd abort the lambs. So schooner's here now. Um, we're just going to clean out that other shed and disinfect it and move all them lambs uh, I don't know whether I said earlier in the video there was two dead lambs with it this morning so uh, I had to go to the vets in fairness he left he left stuff out at half ten last night uh, at the clinic and I went and got it this morning so schooners just going to video this we're going to have a look just to show everyone it just to warn you before we do it uh, if you're a bit squeamish maybe don't look because it could be a rotten lamb um, so if you don't if you don't want to look I'm just warning you now before before we go at it just have one leg out there where she, she's extremely tight we gave her a shot of oxytocin but I just have a bit of string on that leg now I'm going to let it back in because um, the head wasn't there now there's a, there's a fair smell off this one I'd say they're, they're, they're dead or rotten so I'm just going to push that leg back in but I have the cord on it now so at least I'll be able to get it back up is there but I can't get at the back of it and I'm just going to pull that on a little bit to see what will come Whew, 
we we have the head there. Could only get one leg, but she's she's extremely tight. As I said before, we did give her oxytocin, but he's dead anyway. He's dead. But uh, there's a there's a woeful smell off her. Oh. Oh. oh, Jesus, he's not dead. <laughs> he's not dead, but a lad like that wouldn't live because there's a there's a ferocious smell off her. He's only barely alive. A lad like that couldn't live. She's that she's that stinking. I'll have to see. Can I get the other lad now? Anyway, he is alive. But just that was a fair pull. That, uh, that was a fair pull and I, I squeezed his tongue when he was in there to see was he alive and there was no reaction so that's if I'd have known, if I'd have known he was alive I wouldn't have pulled him that hard I thought he was dead but he, he, that lad will never make it is he a bit podgy belly his heart's beating there but that lad will never make it I've often blew down into their into their mouths uh, lambs as well but I wouldn't hold out any oh just my back any hope for that lad she's like you see you can't smell on the camera but she's absolutely stinking she's really really stinking Um, what I'll do with her now if we get this next lad out and if he's dead is I'll inject her and I'll throw her outside We got the second lad there and he actually is alive. Unbelievable because she's she's actually, uh, as I said, absolutely stinking. Uh, I don't know whether she'd make it now or not. That was a fairly heavy session on her. We'll have to give her antibiotics and I have a painkiller over there as well. Um, got the strong antibiotics off the vet this morning for the lamb, so I'm gonna give her some of that. And it's a long acting, acting one as well for three days. But he is alive. At least you have something to work with, but uh, I actually thought that lad was dead and I probably gave him, pulled him too hard. Um, if I'd have known he was alive, would have went a bit easier on him and he, he might have lived. But like, very hard for lambs to live in a yo like that when she's stinking, when, there, when there's a problem there. But I'd be very, I wouldn't be very hopeful for her. But anyway, look, we get them across to the other shed and then we're going to video, we're going to clean out all the other shed uh, after we get her across just stomach tube and this new lamb uh, that's not the mammy there but I'm just putting them in under the light here as well to dry them off because the mother's probably not going to lick them she's fairly shook so we're going to bring her across now and give her an injection uh, we'll, we'll just move this yo this yo will be going out now anyway because this yo's lamb died this morning with, with the watery mouth uh, he was one of the lads he was marked ready and all ready to go out and I just copped them, copped them a bit late some of the other lads I think I am actually going to save, I think they just might make it. So this lad, this is Beeson's, the, just the survivor Beeson's. Just with the stomach tube, then I'm, I'm sterilizing it every time with the boiling water to clean it every time to try and, try and keep things fairly right. This is actually some of the good lads. We're marking these and putting them over there to, to clean out. We have some of the pens cleaned out already, as I said, and um, we're just spraying them then. Mm -hmm. Sen, you want to show them there? We saw, you, you saw me spraying them, so we have them all bedded now. And we can move yours over there. And schooners there, just cleaning out these ones. They're all just going to be sprayed now and uh, freshly bedded and hopefully that will, will help solve the problem but we're after losing another two there a full set of twins or one lad's under the light but i don't think he's going to make it so that that'll be four today alone from the, from that watery mouth so um 
we're, we really really are under pressure with it um, I'm going to get as I said I'm going to get lime next week and um, put some in the big shed uh, under the owls as well before, when, when we're bedding them and probably probably only put in two bales of silage now every time that means you'll be bedding them that that more that little bit more often and and stop the pens getting getting a little bit more Send and send and bed in the pens as well. Realistically, we'd love to leave the pens and let them dry out, but we can't. We just need to get yows and lambs in them. We moved other ones over there. So. There's that yo that uh, you schooner video of me taking the two lambs. One was dead, and there's the other fella. Um, or you see me stomach tube and just have them under the light there, but. He has a fair bit of a pant on him, so I just don't know whether he's going to make it. We we gave the owl an injection, but she's not looking great either. And then that's the second lad of a full set of twins that has died today from the watery mouth. So there's a few more. Uh, we've been doing a lot of stomach tubing um, and a lot of more, a lot more injection injecting. Uh, just to show you what the vet gave me. Um, Bimoxy, uh, it's sort of like um, Betamox. I think it's like it's a real, real strong antibiotic, Betamox. And he gave me these tablets as well. Um, you give each lamb uh, one, one to two tablets depending on their weight uh, as soon as they're born. But I was saying that the pink stuff for the calves, uh, I'll hopefully get that tomorrow and we'll be giving them that. But the only thing about that, he said it might make them a little bit uh, constipated. But look, I'd live with that. Best little helper coming with the bucket of nuts. Look at that. What's everyone to do on the video, Madison? <laughs> what are they to do? <laughs> what were you to say? <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> were they? <laughs> just down feeding the yos here this evening. Actually, I'm sorry, I just I just see a lamb out of the shed here, lad. We marked today. Um, just try and catch him. Yeah, a bit of a hole there. They're nearly all lads we marked today. Um, the same in that pen there. Um, Nearly all ones we marked today got them out of the individual pens and got all them cleaned out. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got yo's out today. I think tomorrow's to be good as well. So if tomorrow's good, there's certainly some in that pen. Um, that can definitely go. But there was a couple of lambs there as well um, where they have sort of sore eyes. I was putting some penicillin into their eyes where just a couple, a couple with sore eyes. But um, just just to let you know on from this morning uh, I was saying we lost four lambs but the, the total the day is not over yet like I think it's about seven o'clock I'll be back down here about half nine ten o'clock um, the total deaths today is seven um, that that lamb that you seen me taken from the old it was set uh, twins the first lad was dead the second fella um, he died there as well we had him under the light but like as I said many times in the video she was smelly she was stinking um, the chances of them lads living are always very very slim but we lost five due to the watery mouth and I think there's another lad there definitely gonna die uh, he'll probably be dead by the morning so we're, as I say, at, uh, at, we're injecting every lamb as they lamb and giving them a tablet down the neck until we get this brimostat, I think it's called. Um, so that's what we're doing. And we disinfected the whole shed. Uh, we even we even disinf disinfected uh, over here with the nab sack. Before we bedded the O's today, we bedded all the O's today and gave them silage. But we actually... 
here at the feed barrier always gets dirty so we actually disinfected um, probably halfway back on all these big pens as well but the only thing about that is uh, you're creating more moisture in this big shed what we really need is the lime and, and we we used to lime before as I said um, I don't know why we stopped maybe because it was just so much hassle you know what I mean just more work more work I don't know why we stopped but anyway we need to go back to it next week uh, I need to order a pallet of lime but uh, one sort of blessing is that they haven't been lambing mega strong. If they were lambing mega strong and uh, with this problem, um, it would have been quite difficult to do it all because Schooner was with me all day doing that. And I was just going around injecting lambs and nearly, nearly stomach tubing lambs most of the day. And he was doing the pens. So, but anyway, this video has gone on quite long and it's sort of been just highlighting one subject really so uh, just the watery mouth um, and I know but look anyone I know people are going to have loads of different uh, won't say cures but remedies or whatever in the comments look stick it down there anyway it's no harm to try other things but um, anyway we're going to finish up this video here Madison's with me feeding this evening so we're going to finish it up and um, we appreciate appreciate everyone watching all the time and if you did like it, um, please give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel. And please sub <laughs> oh, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe and we'll see you at the next one. Right? Say good luck.